The 6th Annual Digital Health Hub Foundation Awards seeks to find the most impactful and disruptive digital health companies. Out of 1,500 submissions, only a select few have become quarter finalists. Let's learn what their superpower is. Um, I had pretty typical pregnancies, um, normal morning sickness, and um, especially with my first, some new mom jitters. Um, with my second, I was a lot more relaxed. Adeline, my oldest, was two weeks late, had to be induced, and Max came a day early. Once they were here, we had some time to bond in the Doctors and nurses were really great about that right off the bat, like letting me breastfeed and do skin to skin. And then they go through the normal testing of jaundice and all of that. When that came back, we found out that my daughter had jaundice due to not getting enough breast milk. And then with my son, he also had jaundice, but it was Combs jaundice. Infant jaundice is a condition that affects over 60% of all babies that are born in the U.S. each year. Not all of those babies require treatment, but a lot of them do. And the treatment that is used is called phototherapy. And it's the, the direct exposure of a specific wavelength of blue light directly to the infant's skin. And that blue light is what causes a breakdown of the molecule bilirubin, which is what causes jaundice. Breakdown of bilirubin to a form that can be easily excreted, which causes the symptoms of jaundice to go away. Current phototherapy treatments are unsatisfying to everyone who uses them, to moms, to nurses, to families, and also to the babies. The child is either placed under an overhead light, which looks like an incubator, and the baby is laying under it, almost like a tanning bed, or the child lays on top of what is called a billy blanket, where the, it's underneath the baby, and the baby is laying on top of it, and that is connected to a light box. And with both of these, different types of treatments. There's issues uh, from separation during treatment, having to physically remove the child from treatment in order to be held by their family or breastfed. And also it causes nurses a lot of extra time and effort to manage that treatment when most of these children really don't have many other problems other than jaundice. Now, hear in their own words why they should win. Hi, I'm Alexa Jones, founder and CEO of Therapy Medical. Therapy will, will be introducing our first maternal infant wearable product into the market in 2025 after our FDA clearance. The pediatric market is historically underserved when it comes to innovation. A condition, a condition called neonatal jaundice affects over half of all babies, yet treatment methods have not seen innovation in decades. In fact, the same treatment that I used over 30 years ago is still used in hospitals today. Currently, these treatment devices are not easily mobile and they can't treat the whole baby at once, which causes parental separa separation and prevents basic care and bonding during treatment. Therapy's first product, Snuglet, is the solution to these problems. Snuglet is a portable and wearable phototherapy swaddle that allows for maternal infant bonding and feeding to occur without interrupting treatment. Our easy to use swaddle design covers the baby's entire body and is meant to eliminate the need to use several devices at one time. Snuggle is designed to be battery operated and it allows mom and baby to remain together during the, the, the crucial first week of life. As the creator of Snugglet, my superpower is balance. It's important to be innovative and forward thinking, but also to balance that with flexibility and to be realistic about what can be achieved with my company and our product. That makes me successful and focused as CEO of therapy. As we work to get Snuglet to market in 2025, winning this competition would give me and Therapy the exposure that we need to the health community, making connections and having meaning, meaningful conversations with thought leaders, other startups, and investors is critical at this pivotal moment as we move from pro a product-focused phase into a commercial phase in 2025. Thank you so much for your consideration. Follow their journey as they strive to become a finalist against a very strong field. Join us October 21st for our grand finale at HLTH in Las Vegas to witness the winner's crowned.